Planting Design with Hilary Thomas. Lesson 1, Form, Texture and Habit. For many of you, it may be the sheer enjoyment of gardening, getting your hands dirty, that has created your interest and love of plants. It is all too easy though, when creating a garden, to end up with a collection of plants, impulse purchases from the garden centre, rather than a well thought out planting scheme that complements the design of the garden. Getting the planting right is far more difficult than designing the layout of the space. Once the hard landscaping is laid, it hardly changes, but planting is dynamic, changing from day to day, season to season and year to year. This makes it far more difficult to judge how the planting is going to look in several years time. As well as the practical considerations such as the type of soil and how much sun reaches the garden, there are all the design qualities of the site and the plants that have to be considered. Learning how to select a plant for its visual qualities in the same way as you would choose wallpaper or furnishings when designing a room is an important stage in understanding planting design. In a well-chosen scheme, the plants should work effectively together to provide year-round interest as well as seasonal excitement. We are now going to consider the visual or design qualities of plants, starting with plant form. The form of a plant is its overall shape when in full leaf and is the most important visual feature when choosing trees, shrubs and ground cover plants. The form of a plant plays a much more significant role in planting design than leaf shape or flower colour and should always be considered first. Form can be affected by environmental conditions such as light, wind exposure, soil conditions and competition. Plant forms can be quite varied, but they can still be grouped into a number of main categories, which we will now consider. The round form tends to be formal, and plants such as box and yew are often clipped into this shape. A loose round does occur naturally in some trees and shrubs, such as ermine's birch, Betula ermanii or the Mexican orange, Choice tonata. A round shape creates a feeling of stability, and plants with this form can be used as anchors in a planting scheme. They can also be used as a full stop at the end of a border, and when planted as repeat shapes, they create an undulating rhythm. Many plants develop into a dome or hummock, and these forms are very effective at the front of the border where they soften the edge of the hard landscaping. Small herbaceous plants such as geraniums, heucheras and alchemilla mollis are excellent for this. Shrubs that grow as domes are lavender and santalina, while some of the smaller grasses such as festuca glauca also form hummocks. The relaxed form of the smaller domes provides visual stability and they can be used to link and ground the more dynamic forms. Larger shrubs such as the Portuguese laurel may be clipped into domes, adding a touch of formality to a planting scheme. Columnar or cylindrical forms are found in trees and shrubs that have a fastidiate habit when all the branches ascend and make the shape of an exclamation mark. Examples of trees are the Italian cypress, Cupressa sempervirens, the Lombardy poplar, Populus nigra italica, and Juniperus scopulorum skyrocket. The columnar form is a strong shape that demands attention. It can be used as a focal point, 
but can also be an eyesore if wrongly placed. It becomes less dramatic and more stable if used as a group of three or five plants within a planting scheme. The conical form is a fairly formal shape and is seen in many of our conifers. When the form occurs naturally, it is taller and it is wide. The conical form is more stable and subtle than a columnar shape and can be used as an accent plant in a composition. Very dark conical trees, such as yew and holly, can seem rather austere and dominating.